childhood trauma to cope with, right? The best way to fight your demons is to beat them senseless.
ripped out my heart. I was defending my pack. Instincts. <laughs> you know how it goes. And your prisoner? We tried to save him. He was injured, so we took him in. Saved him? From who? <laughs> the machine men from the city. They hunt us down to experiment on us. Take this man and go. I appreciate that. I'll leave you in peace. <laughs> Yes, Magister. We shall deliver them to the lab tomorrow. Today, Professor Formigati doesn't like to wait. Of, of course, Magister. On your way, then. As for you in the shadows, I trust you found all this interesting. Indeed. But I still have questions. Like who and what you are. Oh, you don't need to worry about such things anymore, Hunter. Oh, this will be fun. What is this abomination? Looks like something created in a laboratory. So it must be true after all. My dear Borgovia became a playground for evil scientists. No wonder that the good old-fashioned monsters became a dying breed. Look at that. That must be another creature from the laboratories. I think it was only created to dig tunnels. It's not evil. Great. So it won't tear me apart. I didn't say that. Ooh, what do these machines do? Could we turn them on, please? That is spectacular. But quite useless. Turn on the other machines, too. This is not working. Trust my instincts and turn on those strange machines. The main machine is next. This is getting exciting. Hit it! What are you waiting for? It's paralyzed.
father would be proud. My father would only lecture me on my sloppy fighting stance. I know. But it felt like the right thing to say. I love it when I'm right. Breda is here. Look at this creature. Something new. So the first rule of monster hunting. Proceed with caution. There are rules to monster hunting? You never told me that. Congratulations, Mr. Van Helsing. You've managed to play our little game right to the end. Do you think that this is a game? Of course it is. The oldest one in the book. The hero and the villain. But he's clearly insane. There can be only one. Please, make him stop before we drown in cliches. With pleasure. You and me, Van Helsing, and our problem, the final problem! Ever dance with a giant machine in the pale moonlight?
the testing is over, you'll be an ex-hunter!
will sing. So the winds. How do you know my name? Don't. Had you have destroyed those charms, and anyone can enter now, even- Was this a thinly disguised threat, little warden? That's very ill-advised. you found a compromise. I'm not in the mood for killing secret guardians. I know, I'm sentimental.
basically handed it to me on a plate. It still needs a lot of work, but trust me, I will do wonders with it. Please forgive me if I skip the part where I tell you how I used your truly admirable fight for freedom to achieve my goal. I presume our duel afterwards would have been fantastic. But this spell only allows me a short time here before it drags me away. I suppose we'll meet again. Reaches, planning something with the mysterious dream material he collected. But we live to fight another day. Let's go home. Van Helsing, my master told me to expect you. Did you come to your senses? If you are here to serve the Faceless Tsar, first you must kneel, then wait until I decide if you are worthy of servitude. Typical. I don't even deserve an evil monologue. What about me, big lad? But you have already done so much for my master, little Borgovian princess, just like your brothers and sisters did. You will join him in the black heart of the ink and sit at his throne in the Void Cathedral, where he is watching over everything that happens in your world. I really hope so. I want him to see how I destroy you.
It's never good when the gates close behind you. Look, there is a stage over there with that lunatic ringmaster. Let's have a nice little chat with him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest of honor, Van Helsing. The man, the legend, the prey. Witness the most stupendous, most magnificent, and truly colossal entertainment that the Dark Carnival can offer. I'm giving you one last chance to walk away. Stop this madness right now and I'll let you live. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear the man begging for his life? Place your bets. Buy drinks from the refreshment carts. At least you tried, Van Helsing. Let the Hunter Games continue! Was that all, Ringmaster? I was expecting something stupendous, magnificent and colossal. First round is over. Not so flawless victory. Outstanding. Eh, with some minor flaws. Generally well done. Now get him for real, my minions. I'm still waiting for my spectacular spectacle. I hope that lousy brawl was not what you had in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to those pompous killers. That was only the magnificent warm-up to taste them things to come. Let the third round commence. Can't you just give up? I don't have all day. I have a nemesis to defeat. Isn't this entertaining enough? I give you a nemesis, you insolent slayer! Ladies uh, and gentlemen, uh, allow me to present the advent of the century. Ringmaster extraordinaire against the big bad hunter. You want to fight me?
cruel jokes on us. Here you are, the lapdog for the warrior of light, repenting for your sins. And here I am, once an innocent soul, now the acolyte of darkness. All thanks to you. Would you believe me if I told you that I was sorry? Of course not. You are just playing tricks with me. What a hypocrite you are. Have you ever told your mortal master about the terrible deeds our family has done? It wouldn't have been very ladylike. <laughs> Still the witty one, I see. Not as Hunter. During our reign of blood, hundreds and thousands perished to please our protector Kushai, the Deathless. Why would you turn against him now, sister? You are insane. Kushai never existed. He was just a myth, a legendary magician. An excuse for our family to revel in violence. That's so sweet. You really believe your childish nonsense? How could you be so blind? How could you not recognize the one behind the mask? And now you are playing tricks with me. I won't fall for this, sister. Enough. I don't care who he is. You can call him Prisoner Seven, the Faceless Tsar, or the Deathless One. Whatever his name, I will destroy him. But not before I seal these tombs again.
Thank you, sister. It's such a shame that we must part like this. One last thing before I go, Katarina. Do you remember my poem? The one I stole from you? When I made you so angry? I won't live to that curse. You'll never have a pony again. Sorry. Oh, you just had to ruin it, didn't you? The ink gate to the spectral provinces is open, but when my sister passed away, I felt another gate opening nearby. Maybe we should investigate. But I can smell a familiar stench. There are vampires here. with a certain faceless Zala. Immortals can pass through the gate for a gift. Mortals have to prove themselves in a trial of combat. Do I have to fight you to get to the other side? An interesting thought. But you can't fight me. You have to face my champion. Simply submit to his might. Just die. And you can pass. I think he prefers a more violent solution. What was that part about immortals and gifts? I'm too close to my prey. Let's do this. We have cornered our... I meant that metaphorically, Katarina. Good, good. You had... the least you could do. Professional courtesy and all. But we had that covered at the tower. Now you only have to die.
I'm glad to hear that. I used to be called Shy the Deathless, the Faceless Tsar, the Immortal Monarch of Borgovia. I ruled this land for centuries. And you would have got away with it if it weren't for those meddling monster hunters. Trust me. of me, creature. You'll regret that my father didn't destroy you decades ago. Oh, but he thought he had. Only for me that he had other plans. He wanted to experiment on an immortal. So you became Prisoner 7? They cut me open, took my wings and teeth, skinned me and bled me. They created impossible creatures. They powered their first machines with my magic. A whole city crafted from the living corpse of a fallen god. That explains a lot. Great. He has started his grand speech. He 
keep him talking, Van Helsing. Do you have any idea, Van Helsing, how it feels to become a shadow of your former self? A rigid shell, used for experiments. If you're counting on my sympathy, it's too late for that. You have ruined my transformation. Imagine what I could have been if you had destroyed my death. Let's see what happens if I take away everything.
Helsing. Korshai, the Deathless is... well, dead! Thank you, Katarina. Thank you very much for everything. Wait, why are you so serious? You are acting strange. It is time to set you free from your arcane bonds. You've earned this. I hereby release you from the services of the Van Helsing family. Great. It was about time. Well, yes. It's just... never mind. Oh, did you expect a teary-eyed grateful speech? You should know me better, Van Helsing. I've earned this indeed. <laughs> I am free! At last! <laughs> That's it then? We part our ways? Are you insane? Absolutely not. I'll stay with you. Beg your pardon? You won't get rid of me that easily. What if I want to be your companion? It's been an interesting unlife so far. I'm glad. I really am. And you can't order me to stay away. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. I might have second thoughts about this, you know. Don't be silly, Van Helsing. Let's go. You don't want to miss all the other adventures the world can offer you, right? I came to Borgovia to free this land from evil. And I kept my promise. I defeated a mad scientist, fought a military genius, and put a stop to Cochet's grand plan. Still, these villains caused too much destruction and pain. I saved Borgovia, but it has become a ruined city, where the ink is spilling free, twisting reality, and opening gates to the other world. However, it is also a new beginning. We can rebuild Borgova into a new metropolis, where mythical creatures and ordinary people can live among the marvels of weird science. One thing is for sure. My adventure ends here. And whatever follows, it will be another story.